nutzen sie? When you create your projects, are you still using a mouse or a keyboard? Why not generate your projects with the help of a tablet and the openness interface from the TIA portal? Openness is an option for the TIA portal that allows you to address the functionalities of the TIA portal, thereby controlling the TIA portal remotely. We've prepared a number of applications, one of which I'll now demonstrate for you. Let's take a look at it in Visual Studio now. Here on the right, you see in our prefabricated project that we've integrated two DLLs, or libraries, in advance. These are the Siemens Engineering DLL and Siemens Engineering HMI DLL, which are provided by Openness. They enable us to access the functions of the TAA portal. In this demonstration, we'll explore two methods. In the first method, we'll begin by starting the TIA portal. A variable has been created for this purpose. And this function allows us to create a new TIA portal instance. This can be done easily by entering new TIA portal and following within the parentheses I can define whether I would like to start the TIA portal with or without the user interface. Since we're going to be using the interface, this line in the program code will provide us access to the TIA portal via the OpenS interface and allow us to start it. In our example, as can be seen here, we're using C Sharp, but this would also be possible in other programming languages in the Microsoft.NET framework. After we've opened the TIA portal, the next logical step would be to open a project. Therefore, it is possible to access the projects on our TIA portal instance and also to open a project. The method already provides a path so we can directly use this as the project path to be opened. These two lines of code allow the user to start the TIA portal then open a project. Of course, the OpenS application consists of more than these few functions. You can also use it to search for a controller, a controller being a controller target, or gain access to visualization objects. As you can see here, more functionalities are needed for this application. Let's take a look at the project in the live demo. After opening up the TA portal, we see an empty folder called Program Blocks on the left-hand side. This means that no blocks have been integrated yet. In addition, the provided demo case shows us that three modules have been integrated, each of which can drive a conveyor belt, for example. A motor starter is also provided in this scenario. This could be used to control a drive. The application is now running on a PC equipped with both the TA portal and the OpenS application, allowing the installed TA portal to be accessed remotely. In addition, we've integrated a web server so that OpenS can even be controlled remotely through a web page. To do this, we have a tablet with us and here you can see our hardware configuration. This means we have the possibility to create anywhere from one to three conveyor belts in our project. It is also possible to activate and deactivate a drive. With the click on the button Generate Project, we can integrate this project into the TA portal and with one additional click, you can see how these modules appear in the TIA portal. We now have three instances of the conveyor belt block. As can be seen here, and an additional instance of the drive block. This block is versioned as 1.0.0. 
If a new version of this block is produced in the event that an error has been detected by another user during the commissioning process, that user can save it back to the company server via the global library, allowing us to update this function block again. This is done via the Update Project button, which opens a global library on our computer, then performs an update on our project. With a single click, we can see within the TA portal that this library is loaded and a new version of the block is now available here. This is one of the many potential applications for openness in the TA portal. Other possibilities include the integration of other programs, such as versioning systems or the reading out of data from the project, greatly simplifying documentation or programming style checks. This and other application examples are available free of charge in the Siemens Industry Online Support area. There you will find various information, including the operating manual for openness, which offers a large number of code examples to support programming. If you find that this topic is a little too complex, please approach one of our many Siemens Solution partners. They'll provide advice and assistance and can even tailor the application to meet your specific needs. We've demonstrated how you can optimize your processes with openness for the TIA portal and how you can avoid errors thanks to defined execution within the openness application. And that's exactly what we mean by digital workflow in the TIA portal.